What we're going to do in this video is I'm going to show you a way to get your furnace to go into high fire without waiting for the 10 or 12 minutes that it would normally take if you turned on W1 and W2 at the same time. That means if you turned your thermostat up very high, it would turn both of those on. If you do that, it's going to take 10 to 12 minutes to go to high fire. Well, there's a way that you can get this to fire off right away without waiting that 10 to 12 minutes. And I'm going to show you how to do this. So what you're looking at here is a control board for a furnace. Now, I've got a jumper from R to W. That's going to start the first stage. What I'm going to do, start the first stage, the inducer is going to come on low fire, the burner is going to come on low fire, and after that burner comes on to low fire, I'm going to connect up this jumper that is not connected right now from R to W2. When it does that, within a few seconds, it's going to go to high fire. And that bypasses the 10 minute timing period. But if you hook them both up before you start the furnace, it'll wait the 10 minutes. So let's watch this happen. I want you to know to bypass the door switch. Now you just heard the inducer come on to low fire. Now in a minute, you're going to hear that burner come on. I'm not going to show you the burners and so on. You'll just have to listen. Okay, if you listen close, you heard those burners come on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this other jumper and jump her to the W2 terminal. Now listen again. Okay, you heard the uh, motor go to high fire and the burner go to high fire. So you're in operation now. This is just a little simple way for you, if you're testing this thing, if you're servicing it, to test to be sure that second stage works without waiting the 10 or 12 minutes. So, simple little video, nothing much to it. You just have to wait until that burner starts before you hook up that second stage. Okay, that's it on this one.